Hello and welcome to an Unlearned Portal video. We've already done one of these of this deck, but we're revisiting it since it was just such a fun deck to play and it's something that I really enjoyed since, of course, Unlimited Portal has some very powerful cards as far as it goes now. Since the artifact engine is much stronger and a lot of the early game stuff is really easy to play, I mean, we're running 21 one drops in this deck that makes over half the deck for the one and less cards, because of course we do run the uh, zero cost as well, and that is classed in that lot, so very, very easy to get your early game going. And your mid game, of course, is mostly focused around two drops, three drops, and then of course finishing at the top end with the Desex Machina and a single Alter Plane Onslaught just to deal with problematic cards. So we're gonna get right into this and check it out. So the first game here is Portal versus Portal. What a good way to kick off the video. There's really uh, very little difference between Unlimited Portal decks these days because obviously the Artifact Portal decks are extremely dominating as far as it goes for power. So we start off with a fairly good hand, already having Desex Mark in our hand and the Augmenting Bestowal is actually really good. Unfortunately I never really get to use the full uh, ma uh, Maisha on 7 play kind of turn. It's just a lot harder to get that out a lot of the time than you'd think. So usually I'll focus on just trying to take as much advantage out of the cards that I've got as I can before of course losing or winning, whichever way they usually go. But we've already got off to a fairly good start here with, of course, Ancient Artifacts, Miriam, and all those sort of cards. Now, our opponent's doing a fairly decent job themselves at keeping their board reasonably stable. So Excel is great. I probably could have also went for the uh, double bestowal play and went for a bunch of artifacts if I wanted, but instead I decided to take it a little more chill and just roll with what we have here. Considering turn 5, next turn, we can pretty much waste our entire hand. Well, not our entire hand, but we can pretty much set ourselves up really nicely, so why not? So they're going for the absolute removal. We're going to draw quite a bit thanks to the Bestow play. Hopefully we can get some artifacts in that, because otherwise we could be in some trouble. And Biofab and Icarus, okay, so Icarus with the Evo at least will give us another artifact. Biofab puts more cards into the deck and then we just gain three play points back anyway, so. There's really zero issue doing this. The only thing is I can't play the uh, Magisteel Lion at this, this current stage. But at least we can play Mechanization, getting those good one drops. We're absolutely flooding the deck with artifacts, which is really good when you're playing unlimited artifact. Now we dump the two lesser cards and we go for a whole new hand. Unfortunately, this hand is very mediocre. I mean, analyzing an H in a good, but getting three entity in our hand, not a good situation to be in. I'd much rather have got, say, one entity that I could discard than drawing all three now and really not going to be able to hold them. Plus, we really need to maintain this Evo now. It's very important for us to maintain our Evo point. I also have the Analyzing play, so we can go for that for the draw first. Since we're probably just going to focus on discarding this hand, since there's really not a lot I can do with this, and I really need some good cards to go up against this Portal player who's basically doing what I'm doing. This is a much better hand. Especially since we're going to lose Excel next turn, so being able to replace that immediately will make a huge difference. Analyzing artifacts, not really an issue. They are going to get some decent removal here, but that's about it. We should be able to make up for that fairly easily. And now for every artifact, of course, we play, we are going to gain two play points, so... That's really no concern. There's our Maisha. So now we just need to kind of stay out of resonance if we want to really maintain this. Since we are going to reach the Maisha finisher first, provided they can't go for some crazy artifact play, but... Really all I can bank on at the moment is that, so... We are able to play either Icarus or Lion. It's really no issue to play either of those now. 
And I did decide to end up throwing it away since, of course, I I have got other mages. We haven't seen the other two, so they are within those 13 cards. So that was definitely an okay way to go. Even if it probably wasn't the right move, it was the best thing I could probably come up with. Especially since we can now, of course, mill our deck out a little bit, which is okay. We can even put some more in it with the biofab and the mechanization. But first we're going to, of course, try and draw as much as we can, trying to get that Maisha into our hand. Since I do plan to, of course, hold off as much as possible. And I did decide not to put the mechanization into the deck since I didn't want to make our draw any harder to get since we are so close to having a Maisha play. There's their own Maisha. And an H artifact. Alright, so they haven't wasted anything yet. We got it fairly easy though. With these H artifacts. If I had got Maisha now, I actually think I probably could have went for victory just straight up. Which would have been good. But we've maintained our board, we get a little bit more damage in, putting them at 8. Turn 9, this is going to be the crux of their argument. Can they win at this point? If they can't, they're going to be in some trouble. They probably assume I already have my issue in hand. They've already played two of them, so that's a huge risk. And they wasted the last Evo point, so that looks good for us. The odds of them winning is basically zero now, especially playing their third Maisha. So no no reason not to concede there. We were already well ahead in the victory situation, so very hard for them to come back. And next up, we are going up against Forest. Forest can be a tricky one because those Roach plays can really come out of nowhere and really disrupt your playstyle, which is not a fun thing to deal with. But of course, it's not the be-all and end-all of these sort of matchups. typically. You can actually do fairly well. You just have to make your plays count. Spring Green Protection, that's a good play from our opponent right off the bat. At least we're going first, which does give us a little bit of an edge as far as getting early game pressure out. We can't really force the Maisha. It's going to be really hard. We're definitely going to want to focus on making sure we can kind of uh, take the board the whole game, that's really all we can do. Really got to put pressure on them. And since we don't have really that many cards right now that can do that, it's definitely going to be tricky because they are playing a lot of removal. So definitely a risky game to be playing now. At least we got the ancient artifact, that's something. If we can trade and force them to have to deal with our board, we may survive this reasonably okay. Although this gentle elf is definitely going to hurt my feelings. So we can go for another machine soldier. We do have the biofap now, which is pretty decent. Unfortunately, analyzing really isn't the best thing to play. We really want to H an artifact, and unfortunately, we got double analyzing. Even though I used what I would consider my last hope at getting it. But at least, you know, if I'm going to use an Evo, I may as well use it on something that's decent. Getting rid of a 5 attack follower on a forest deck is definitely valuable. Forest defender. That's really rough because it is going to pretty much wipe the board on its own. Definitely one of the worst situations I could have possibly ended up in. Now I don't really have a choice. Wielder has to come out. Acceleradium and most likely Bestol as well because I really need some draw here. Desex is good, but it's not handy unless I can actually play it. And unfortunately on its own, Bestol isn't going to help us either. And it ended very, very poorly for us, so a little disappointed. We've now lost any chance at our major win condition, so we're definitely going to be playing the board now. Which was pretty much how I expected this match to go from the beginning. Another Genesis of Legend. 
Well, at least we have the uh, Desert X Mark in a play, so we can kind of refresh our hand. It does waste the Purgation's Blade, but I think it's worth it at this point. I probably should have also traded into the Fairy, but that's alright. I suspect they're going to have some fairly decent plays anyway. At least with the Acceleradium and these Analyzings, we have a pretty good chance. Plus the Wilder is going to get us another couple artifacts. So we can wipe this entire board. And since we are going to be gaining back reasonably quickly, there's no point not playing some stronger followers as we go. And since we're going to be burning through these now, So we did get another Excel, which does lead me to not want to go into Resonance to discard this hand, as another Excel plus the two Analyzing are actually really good value, and the Maisha is also a draw, so definitely not wasting all this yet. If I had a held on to an Evo, I would have had a good chance, but I did feel like I really had to use that there to get rid of that big guy before, so I really didn't want to take the chance of leaving him up and having him wipe my board continuously. But at least we should maintain this board fairly easily, take it out and really work from there. So it might have been better to go for the Biofab. But in this situation, I think it worked out just fine. Again, we didn't want to discard our hand too much, we've only got 17 cards left. And our opponent ended up conceding, which looks good for us since we managed to win, but... It was by far a close game, I mean, it could have really went either way towards that end. I'm guessing they just kind of run out of any decent cards and only had low-cost things that were just going to get stomped by artifacts, so it's probably why they conceded, but I would have loved to have seen exactly how far that could have went. I feel like we did an okay job of maintaining our board, keeping our pressure, and getting that damage in, but that's really all we could do. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button. You'll find the deck in the description below. Until next time, guys, see ya.